there is no time to talk. We must get into some highlights. And the first highlight, this episode, is a 3-1 loss to Liverpool. Uh, the first goal coming from a Mario Balotelli kind of cross-come shot and Dumbia heads it in. I will talk to you in a second, but I'd like to get the highlights out of the way. Uh, Bender, Sven Bender, I believe it was, with a effort from the edge of the box, made it 2-0. And then in like the 89th minute, we get a goal back and Martin Olsen pulls one back and I'm thinking, oh, you know what, game on, here we go, come back Kings. And then uh, it was shortly after that that Mario Balotelli was set free and he fires one into the, the top corner. He's actually been on a really good goal scoring run for Liverpool. I think he's got like 32 goals or something this season. Crazy. Uh, so that put us in fifth place and then we went away to Chelsea, or we were at home to Chelsea, sorry. They got the first, Jackson Martinez, getting them off the mark with a, a leap. Uh, and then they got a sending off. I do believe it was Vernat, uh, Verratti, I think it is, the PSG player, who now plays for Chelsea on this. Uh, goes in viciously from behind, gets a red card, and that swings the game. Ryan Bennett with the first, uh, powers in from close range. And then, do you know what? The forgotten man, Lewis Graben from close range. It felt like the championship all over again. Pops it in to make it 2-1 to Norwich. And a win to, against Chelsea is up there with some of our best results this season. Uh, the next game, not so fruitful. And the first goal for Tottenham was by Andros Townsend. And boy, what a finish it was. As you'll see here, the ball's played to him. Then he's, he carls one into the far corner. Maybe Ruddy can do a bit better, but I'm going to take nothing away from the finish. It was a lovely goal. And uh, not long after that, I do believe that it is Ericsson? Maybe? Pop it in the second? You'll know I won't. It is Ericsson. I knew it was Ericsson. Um, I make so many notes, it's ridiculous. Uh, the next game, Newcastle. Now, they beat us 5-0. You might remember this last time out. Uh, well, actually, we didn't record it, but it was a highlighted episode, uh, the Newcastle game. They beat us 5-0. We took our revenge in kind. Uh, the first goal, maybe a little bit of a foul from Nathan Redmond, if you didn't see that. And Lewis Graben, you know what? He's back. He's grabbing the goals. I've not been able to say that for a while. Uh, so he gets the first. Shortly after that, Nathan Redmond's put through and finishes it, drills it into the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, Lewis Crappen on the score sheet again. I can't believe it. It's, it's weird how I've rotated my strikers around so much and he's come for to the fore towards the end of the season. Um, pleasing, but different. Even Elliot Bennett was getting in on it. A fantastic free kick into the top right-hand corner and at 4-0 up, you know what? Loving it. Podolski scored. That was annoying. Um, <laughs> and that is how it went. I think I've done these out of order, but no matter. Uh, I'm changing up a little bit. I'm going straight into the game now. Here we are. Highlights. No, no cut. Just going with the flow. Um, so then, our next game, our final game of the season, is against Manchester City. And I thought I'd give you a little bit of a rundown uh, of what's going to happen. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode. I think I'm going to have a chat with you. Let me just put my notes away. Ah, gone. Right then. So the end of the season form has been a little bit patchy, um, but our season form overall, as you can see there, has been a little bit patchy. We've had a few times where we've kind of gone on three game runs of losing, which has been disappointing. And obviously, the last time we played these five games, uh, we got six points out of a possible 15. And once again, so far, six points out of a possible 12. So we've got the Manchester City game. A team that last time out, we beat 3-1. Uh, this time we are away at the Etihad. So it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. And uh, let's take a look at the squad. So throughout the season, I keep going on about not having a prolific goal scorer, but Joel Campbell and Harry Kane have 11 goals each. Uh, Lewis Graben, after his recent good spell, has got nine. And Nathan Redmond with 18 assists. Uh, you will notice Kiyotaki is back, sort of. Uh, he's taken a massive hit stats-wise. His physicals have just been destroyed, uh, as well as his determination going down, which is just... Heartbreaking, really. Um, started the season off so well. Only got 13, go uh, 13 games for us. Five goals, five assists. And he was on a 7.01 rating. We'll keep him on next year. Uh, the kind of hope of Europe is, you know what, it's with us. Um, I think if we win our game, then we'll have a shot at it. The thing is, West Ham, who are in ninth, got to the FA Cup final with Manchester United. Manchester United won that. But I think that'll mean seventh place won't receive European football. So we'll have to finish fifth or sixth. Which will mean beating Man City at Man City and they've not had a great year so anything's possible is the way I'm looking at it uh, looking at the squad what should we do we have got, got like a settled team uh, or it looks like Owen Clayton who I was going to play in this game but Owen Clayton seems to be away let's put Kiyotaki on the bench why not and Wes Houlihan might be his last game for the club so we'll uh, we'll put him on the bench too yeah, I'm looking at that squad there. Uh, well, there's an argument I could play Harry Kane, who I've not played for a little while, because uh, Graben's played well. I've just, I've just been playing him. Um, it's as simple as that, really. And I think we'll just, we'll just go for it. Counterbalanced, uh, the instructions we've had throughout the year. It's going to be very interesting to see how next year goes. Uh, this year's been really, really successful. It's gone really, really well for us. But next year will be the crunch. Um, whether we can pull it off or not. 
that is yet to be seen but we'll do our very best they're playing a very narrow formation and we play quite a wide formation so that might suit us vincent company is playing as a defensive midfielder well actually is he that kind of that's that's never what they're actually doing no he's not he's playing at the back with mangala well i feel tricked and deceived um, their squad doesn't look i don't know no Torre, etc their bench looks pretty good Torre, nazari jacko negredo Okay, interesting. <laughs> They're the favourites to win it. Uh, obviously, as I say, they've not had the greatest of years. Liverpool have won the league for the first time in however many years it would be in the second season. So there's something to be happy about. That team talk has gone fantastically well. Um, actually, they didn't mind that. Let's try to do that with the defenders. Okay, well, Susie doesn't know what's gone on. Well, let's change this to... Uh, I, watch, I watch it in director normally because it's just... It looks nice. It's aesthetically pleasing. Well, we'll put it in the 2D. Uh, hopefully, John Ruddy can have a, a good game. We've He's been the kind of the question mark of this entire season, hasn't he? Uh, but I'll go through a few members of the squad, I guess. I've got time to talk about it. So why not talk about it? Uh, Russell Martin at right back has been quite good for us, really. I, he was a player that I wasn't sure if we were going to hold on to. Hold on a minute. Elliot Bennett has got the ball. Grabbins through. Oh, Joe Hart makes a good save. Yeah, he was a player that I wasn't sure if I was going to hold on to at the start of the season. Uh, him and Whitaker aren't really that good. But they've both kind of... I've rotated them in right back. And I think that's helped both of them. I think fitness-wise and playing-wise, they've enjoyed having that rotation. Uh, at the back, we've, we've kind of gone between uh, Elliot... Not Elliot Bennett, sorry. Ryan Bennett, Sebastian Massong and Susie. It's been a bit of a, uh, a mishmash of... What has gone on there? Uh, it's been a bit of a mishmash of defensive... Sort of a disaster for John Ruddy. I don't want to know what he's done. I don't want to know. Don't tell me he's put it in his own net. Am I going to see the replay of this and just be upset? Okay, apparently not. Good. For, for John Ruddy's sake, good. And again, they've scored and we're getting battered. Oh, never mind. Oh, it was an own goal by John Ruddy. Of course it was. The focus on John Ruddy's performance. Uh, left back. Well, centre backs have been good. Overall, they've been pretty good. Uh, I'll probably keep them all on next season. Martin also at left back's a funny one. Sometimes he's really good. Sometimes he's just completely average. The stats on his player card aren't great. Lewis Graben. Oh, Redmond. Come on, back in it. What a game to go out on this could be. Uh, but yeah, Olsen might be replaced. I'm not sure. It's going to... It solely depends on who we can bring in at the end of the year. Uh, in midfield, we've had like four players that have kind of rotated around. I think Bradley Johnson, Vadis, Housen, Jack Cork. Jack Cork's been brilliant, actually. He was a tiny we brought in in the summer. And he's been one of our better players. And then going forward, we've had Elliot Bennett. Uh, we've had Nathan Redmond. We've had Kiyosaki at, at, for the start of the season. Houlihan, Joel Campbell, Harry Kane... And they've all done their part, uh, apart from Redmond, who's played the majority of games. I've kind of, I've rotated a lot of the kind of forward players just to keep it fresh. I think a lot of the problem comes with getting promoted is that you keep the same squad. When it doesn't work, you're not sure whether to just sort of persevere with it. And I think the rotation I've had throughout cup competitions and throughout the league games, I've, I've changed the team depending on who we're playing against as well. As Johnny Halson runs through, Joe Hart saves. Disappointing. Hmm... If we can get something from this game, that'd be amazing. Elliot Bennett swings it in. Susie nearly gets on it. Uh, we're playing counter. I'm, I'm tempted to switch the formation up. No, we'll keep it as it is. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy. Come on, Nathan. What are you going to do for us? Penalty. Let's go. Graben's going to hobble off, injured. So who's who's taking the pen? Olsen. Oh, he squeezes it in. And that's 2-2. Uh, I don't know where Lewis Graben's got. I don't know if he's actually been taken off. It looks like we haven't got as many players on the pitch. Oh, he's down there. Why is he down there for? His injury was up here. Oh, hang on, Jack Cork. Corky. Oh, it's got in. Scenes. Hashtag scenes. What a way to end the season. And are we, we've moved up to sixth place, which I think may well be European football. I was talking about changing it. I've not changed it. What is going on here? I think we might take Graben off for the last 20 minutes and bring on Joel Campbell um, just for an extra bit of pace. Oh my word! Are we really going to beat City away from home? This is amazing. <laughs> I'm loving this. Come on, boys! Hold on. Five seconds to go. End the game. Are we going to finish sixth? Are we going to be in Europe next year? Surely not. Who won the League Cup? I don't know who won the League Cup. Oh my word! People had written us off. What a season! What an end to the season! We've come back against City. And beat them 3-2. We've finished 6th. We've finished above Man City, above Arsenal. I'm sure all their players will want to come to me next year. Uh, Palace must have lost then. Palace uh, got beat by Arsenal. Chelsea must have won because they finished above me. Chelsea beats Swansea. Let's see if we've qualified for Europe. Maybe. I'm not sure who won the League Cup. 
Um, are we are we in? We qualify for the Europa League. What the hell is going on? Eighteen point six one million. Fantastic. As well, that's going to be well received. We're in the third qualifying round for the for the Europa League. Oh God, we're going to get that's going to kill us in the league next year. And that makes this oh that makes the next episode, which will be a transfer special, so exciting. Uh, I'm a little bit giddy there. I was not, I was honestly expecting to lose come seventh and just think right rebuild for next year, but oh my word. Well, I never. We were two on down as well. I'm a bit. I'm flustered. I am flustered. Uh, so, okay, uh, this is quite a nice moment. I've I've not had a moment like this football manager for a little while. So this is cool. <laughs> Next season, what are we going to do? That's the. What, what, I, I, I'm a bit speechless. Rarely, when you record a video, should you be at a point of being speechless. But I'm a little bit shocked. Shall we look at things like finance? So the finances after finishing well in the Premier League, I've just rocketed. Shall I ask the board for a stadium expansion? Let's do it. We're on top. Oh, Delia, Delia, love. Can we can we sort this out? Can we expand the stadium, please? Um, yeah, let's do that. We agree. She's for it. Let's go. What else can we do? Um, do I want a new contract? When's my contract run out? Oh no, forget the contract. We'll deal with that another time. My word. What an end to the season. The, the, when, when do we get it by? The 27th? Oh, we're going to get it up by like 4,000. Excellent. Thank you, Delia and David. David McNally there, Managing Director of Norwich City Football Club. What an end. I'm, this is this is just a, me going wow, but I am impressed. Now let's look at the overall table then. Let's see how it got how it went down. Uh, Mario Balotelli, twenty one goals in the league for Mario Balotelli. I mentioned that he got thirty something. I think overall he had because uh, I, I think Liverpool have been in Europe, so that's must, that must be what I got it from. Thirty two there. Look, I, I knew it. He's injured as well. Oh, Liverpool have got loads of injuries. Coutinho. Okay. Anyway. Enough about Liverpool's injury problems. They beat us. Forget them. Um, <laughs> Sagbo up there for Hull City. Mamadou, Giroud. It's weird. Giroud's up in the top goalscorer stats. Um, and Arsenal had a, a dreadful season. I do know why, though. Um, a few of you might be thinking, how on earth has this happened? Wenger's still in charge. But Arsenal have had a Champions League run. They're into the Champions League final. They've just beat Bayern Munich. Uh, so they've got Barcelona. And that has really... I'd say it hampered them, really. But if you look at the, the fixtures from, like, there... To my result when I beat them, um, that's where they've really suffered. They had a lot of like, weird losses there. Lost to Everton, lost to Southampton. Yeah, bizarre. Lost to Sunderland and West Ham. And that's really hurt them. 15th is a bizarre finish. To finish 15th in the Premier League and then win the Champions League, that'd be crazy. If they can do that, that'd be outstanding. Uh, Leighton Baines, the top performer in the league. Christian Eriksen had a brilliant year for Tottenham. Really good average rating as well as getting 16 assists. Nathan Redmond, up there for Norwich. It was important that we had someone do that. Obviously, Elliot Bennett was fantastic for us last year. But Nathan Redmond's really come to the fore. Um, yes! Uh, what else can we look at? Shall we look at the championship? Who's joining us in the Premier League next season? Oh, it's out of Nottingham Forest or Middlesbrough in the final. Who is already promoted though? Leicester or Wolves? So Leicester will be making a return to the Premier League and Wolves will have done um, two promotions in three years, which is very impressive. Uh, any teams go down there that we can pitch players from? Not particularly. And who went down in the Premier League? Sunderland, Watford and Swansea. So we'll have a little, little look around those teams. Come the transfer window, I've no doubt. See who we can pinch. Uh, we'll see if the Arsenal players are content with finishing 15th. And some of the City players, 10th place. Bizarre. Uh, so a, a sixth place finish for Norwich. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed the series so far, uh, obviously we're coming to the end of the season. If you could please leave a like. If we get 100 likes on an end of season video, that would be magnificent. Uh, so as I've just said, thank you very much for watching. From me, Dr Benji. Goodbye. Goodbye.